We are going now to Chateau de Claude Lucet, where Leonardo da Vinci used to live and work. Ticket is 18 euro for adult and it gives you access to the chateau, also to the park of the Vinci and to the galleries. A three restaurants inside and a picnic area. This time we actually have food for picnic but we forgot it in the car. So I guess we're gonna have lunch at the next store we go to. <laughs> Five minute walk so yeah diving into Leonardo da Vinci's mind is it's an extraterrestrial activity and experience next stop is Chateau Chononceau I'm so proud of finally pronouncing that right sort of right <laughs> if we're gonna make it because the shuttle closes at 5 p.m. and now it's 4 20 and we're hoping that the ticket office is not closed so that we can get in or at least take a look at it from the gardens but let's see okay we're good uh, we have a few hours like hour and something to go look at the gardens and then at 6 15 we can enter the shuttle and the ticket without audio guide is 15 euro and 50 cents. Apparently today, I don't know whether because it's Sunday or tomorrow because it's a holiday or 
just the times in Google are not correct, but uh, the gardens uh, work until 8 and the store works until 7.30 p.m. Very beautiful and the gardens have found us and stuff. It's beautiful, but right now we're really focused on finding a nice sport, uh, spot for picnic to have food because it's 4 p.m. and we haven't had lunch. The French are all about the rules, it seems. I feel like if they don't obey the rules, they protest them. Like that's the <laughs> that's their dynamic. Look at those gardens. Yeah, right now a woman was by mistake was walking on the grass and then there were like six people yelling. Don't walk on the grass, don't walk on the grass. Then she apologized and everything. And when we're driving I see that they are really driving by the speed limit which is something also that I'm gonna miss in Bulgaria like here they're like very calm drivers this bench seems nice for some lunch we're done with the lunch now I feel like going for some nap we have an hour until we're allowed to get in with the next group to the shto so we can take a walk around the gardens or just chill for a while there's some restaurants here as well so people can sit down have a drink um, yeah so it's nice I don't know if we're gonna do that but it does seem nice let me show you and the shto is right there behind right there. The chateau is spanning the river Cher and it's one of the best known chateaus in the Loire Valley. It was first mentioned in writing in the 11th century but the current chateau that we see now was built in the 1500s and the bridge over the river was built 50 years later by French Renaissance architect and the gallery on the bridge 50, uh, 20 years after that. There is a mixture of late Gothic and early Renaissance in the Chateau and other than the Royal Palace of Versailles, it is the most visited Chateau in France. In 1840, it was designated as a monument historic by the French Ministry of Culture and the Chateau is a major tourist attraction that attracts almost 1 million visitors a year. From what Wikipedia said, and I read for you, I'm not sure which, which bridge was built after the Chateau because that Chateau is actually kind of a bridge but I guess this part this part here he was about to explain stuff in English at least he said so then he said something in French, everybody laughed, and then he didn't say anything in English. Probably he said, well, now you have to learn French, bye. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we're going in. <laughs>
felt a little bit tight inside and a little claustrophobic, so we had to go out. But yeah, we saw everything that there was to see. It's time to go for Aparo. to do our own apero around the river. We have some meloncello from when we were in Venice. We have some bread with fruits and some cheese. And we have the view. Thank you for watching. It was a lovely day today, but we're tired and this is gonna be it for today. Um, subscribe, comment what is your favorite chateau here in France and see you on our next adventure.